Welcome to ActiveGuide.com. In this session, we are going to see how to install WebLogic version 12.1.3. So I'm going to search this particular search string in Google to make it simpler. Just search this particular search string. Select this second link, which is docs.oracle.com. And this particular link will display all the step-by-step -step process which you need to do uh, from uh, downloading to uh, install and then domain creation. So for now, for download, I'm going to select this particular one, link for download. So you will be able to see a sign-in page. So I'll go ahead and sign in here. Um, so I have already uh, created a user ID password. So I will go with that. If you don't have one, you should create one. And then once you go here, I'm going to say that I want weblogic 12.1.3. So you see this below link, yes, select that. And then go for select platform, select Microsoft Windows 64 bit and do a select. So once you do that, you will go for continue, continue again. So it's going to download a big size file so again, I just go and download and then accept the terms and condition. Probably you should read once and then go download. So when you click on download, a smaller uh, screen uh, pop-up comes up. If you don't, if you're not enabled pop-up, you should enable pop-up for this particular uh, website and then just click on the download. When you click, uh, you know, you will see a, a zip file um, getting downloaded. So already I have the download here. So let me just um, open the download here. If I go under my install directory, I have a logic. So you get this particular zip file and then I have extracted the zip file and you get a jar file from here. So once you have this jar file ready, go back to the URL and you should be able to see the next set of actions here. So they just want to make sure that, you know, JDK is 64 bit install correct. Um, so they're, have, they're asking you to locate the uh, bin directory where exactly the JDK has been installed. Um, so they have given set of guidelines, what all you need to do as a pre-request. So consider all of them. And then now, you know, we can just validate the Java version, which we have done it already. But for our uh, sake, I'll do one more time, like Java hyphen version, just make sure that JDK installed and which is on a 64 bit server. So they are good with that. And then go ahead. So you should be able to uh, run this particular command. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to select this particular directory open a command prompt, go to CD, to this particular location, and then I'm going to run the command just given here, which is Java followed by hyphen jar, and then uh, this particular jar file. So unable to access, because this particular directory still it is not changed, so I should be able to change it to E drive, and then run the previous command here. Now you will get the, the screen. So it's going to take some time because it's just extracting everything from this particular uh, jar file. Some install happens and the files are going to your temp directory. Um, so let's wait for the installation to happen. So we just need to follow the steps which is given over here in this particular uh, you know, web page. Um, so you will be next selecting the uh, Oracle home and then you will be selecting the uh, web logic, what kind of this one you need. Uh, and also Java version, uh, all of them. So once all done, you should be able to create the domain as well as given uh, here. So if you look at that, yeah, automatically launch the quick configuration wizard. From there, we'll be able to uh, you know, run this particular command and then uh, you should be able to uh, install the uh, domain as well. So let's wait for extract to happen, complete. Okay, so now if you look at the uh, screen, we got a error saying um, unable to access or modify the system registry, a run, a select run as administrator when you are opening the command prompt. If you look at the top, it has 
uh, which exact location we should go there. So I'm just going to select that C colon Windows. It's going to be uh, System32. Okay, then I'm going to, we need to select a command that's in this. So I'm just opening that particular location. Now I'm going here, cmd.exe. That's what we are looking for. It's application. Right click now and I'm going to say run as administrator. Take that back. Okay, so we have got the, this one. Now we are going back to the previous uh, uh, location where this particular, this one available. So I'm going to CD change this one and type equal and back so that I will be getting this particular one. Then I say Java hyphen jar and then I'm going to just specify EF. Then you get this. So click on it. Again, uh, it's going to take some more time. Uh, so let's close the previous one, it came out. So I'm kind of exiting from that. Now again, the extract is happening. So we have to wait until uh, this extract complete. Okay. Now we see a different error. Basically it was trying to identify uh, JDK and it is not able to identify the JDK. So hence this particular error uh, coming. So I'm just going to press this key. This time I'm going to run in a different way. So I'm going to give a full path of where exactly our JDK been installed, java.exe, and then going, giving hyphen jar and then this particular location. Let's wait and see, hope this resolves this issue. Yes, this particular step helped us to move forward. Now you are able to see that starting Oracle universal installer and also you will be able to see uh, some of the uh, checks which have been performed. Now it's moved on to the next step. So let's wait for complete install to happen. Yes, now, you know, the, still the command prompt is open and also now you got a new uh, screen where uh, it shows you the welcome screen and also the details. Now we are going to click continue and also it's asking where exactly you wanted to uh, install your Oracle and make this as an Oracle home. So I am going for my drive, which is E colon there. I have um, you know, my all um, installable uh, Java was installed here down. So the same place I'm going to install. So this I want as my Oracle home. So continue. Now it's asking what all the things we need to install. So I'm going with the WebLogic server, just the WebLogic server. And then I'm going to continue next. So this particular check, it should be fine, just you can go continue. Okay, I will support this one. Just click next. Okay, it's looking. Then we are going under installation summary. So these are all the things it's going to get installed over here. So I'm going to just say install. So it's going to take a while to complete this particular installation. Let's wait for the install to complete. Okay, now we can see that all been installation complete and it's showing 100 percentage over here and just do click next yeah if you look at that it's kind of shows what's your oracle home 
and also the lock file is present in this particular path and i'm going to have this configuration wizard automatically launch because i'm wanted to install that domain as well so i'm going to, to do a finish i'm going to wait for the configurator to load if not we should be able to load manually as well as per this document if you look at the uh, documentation you should be able to see here there is a manual way of loading it here so if you go to oracle home and then oracle common common bin bin then config.cmt that should open the same screen as this uh, right now we are uh, we are able to open it here so also if you look at that it's saying uh, the base domain as the name I don't want that as a base domain so I'm just going to change that so right now I need to have it as let's say uh, OMS and also if you wanted to put a version behind it it's good so I'm just using 9.4 uh, and also it is going to be a create new domain so this is our uh, domain location and then I'm going to continue next here I'm going to just select only the WebLogic uh, server domain next here it's going to ask uh, username and password for your web logic so usually the web logic will be your um, you know user id if you want you can change as well but i'm going to just keep as it is i'm going to have a, a different password always i just suggest um, when you're writing this password um, you keep a note on it maybe write it somewhere uh, just because after one month when you come back and try to log in you might completely forget that so i suggest uh, to have this note somewhere uh, so that we'll not have any issues later um, so it says at least uh, eight alphanumeric character at least one number or a special character hopefully i have given a correct one so yes it did correct and also this is going to be a development one so i'm going to have just development mode and also um, the oracle hotspot is uh, the jdk part which is we have specified right so i'm good with that i'm going to click ok so the next one it's ask uh, whether do you want to have uh, admin and also uh, manage server so for this example uh, you know i'm i just need the admin server i'm not going to use uh, here itself i should be able to deploy uh, our application so i'm just going to select that as an admin server and just to continue uh, I'm going to name a cities like admin server and with the port 7001 right now I do not have um, the SSL enabled so I'm not going to select that just click continue here uh, you get an option create a domain so I'm just going to create a domain It. so once the domain creation successful here their message shows uh, then just click on next now you will be able to see that uh, the machine name and stuff so just click start admin server and do a finish here so here we are going to wait the admin server comes until uh, running mode and then we should be able to uh, log in into the uh, console as well So system loading, yep, we are success. Okay, I'm just going to say allow access. Okay, now how to validate this? So I'm just going to check here, local host colon 7001 slash console. So you will be shown this particular screen. Just log in with uh, the user ID password, which uh, you have entered during the uh, domain creation. So it's going to be taking some time because this is the first time we are starting this.
let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, you got this particular login screen. Now you will be able to log in. So the user ID, we used WebLogic and then enter the password, whatever you have given. Okay, I'm just saving it for future of my purpose. Um, and you should be able to see this particular screen. So this is where you will be deploying the application later stage. Uh, but at, and, uh, as far as you are able to access, um, this is what we need to do for you know, Oracle WebLogic uh, you know, creation, domain creation and installation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on activeguide.com. Thank you.